Hi, my name is Mallory Mackey and I am from Los Angeles, California. I initially heard about the Monroe Institute back in 2019 when I was filming a travel show. I actually conducted an interview at the Monroe Institute and after speaking with people there, I knew that I had to come take a program for myself. I was very excited about it. So in February of 2020, I took the Gateway Voyage residential retreat at the Nancy Penn Center and I had a fantastic time. And then I knew I wanted to continue my journey. So I did the Lifeline virtual retreat in February of 2021. Now going into the Lifeline virtual retreat, I was a little hesitant just because part of what makes the Monroe Institute so special is the group dynamic. You meet all of these mostly like-minded people that you go on these incredible journeys with and they kind of become your friends for life. There's so many people that I know that I've met from the Monroe Institute that I have changed my life. And I was not quite sure that going in virtually, we would have the same group dynamic. But let me tell you, I was wrong. It didn't change anything. Um, my group and I, through the virtual Lifeline retreat, became good friends almost immediately. Uh, you know, we were all very comfortable sharing our experiences together. And we got to do it from the comforts of our own home, which was just fantastic. And now after the program, you know, we still have our WhatsApp group and we talk with each other all the time. So I feel like I've made some friends for life. So the virtual aspect really didn't change that much. And aside from that, what I love about these programs is I always come in with the preconceived notion. And I'm sure a lot of other people do too, where you expect that your journey is going to go a certain way. And it never does. You are never going to have the journey that you expect that you're going to have. I mean, almost never. So I expected to just do retrievals, which if you don't know in Lifeline, you're helping people that are stuck in focus 23, maybe stuck in patterns that have passed over that can't quite move on. And you're helping them move on in their journey and hopefully to get to focus 27 where they can, you know, go where they need to go from there. And I expected the retrievals to go a certain way. And of course, it never happened the way I expected it to. The journey changed every time and that was what was so special about it. You know, sometimes I would see people very clearly in front of me. Other times I would just receive messages. And then there were times where I would actually feel the people and I would feel sometimes their pain or what they were going through. So I liked that it was a surprise every time and it always changed to fit the journey of the person that you were helping. And then when we started exploring in Focus 27, I took a complete direction with my journey I never thought I would take, and I became very interested in the universal possibilities. The fact that there are unlimited possibilities, quantum physics and how it works in the studies of consciousness, and it went from there. So I, I all of a sudden went from this introspective journey to helping others to just pondering about the unlimited possibilities of the universe. It went full circle for me, and now I actually have a direction to continue my studies, which I had no plan to do before. And, any direction or another, I was just going to see where it took me. And it directed me to Exploration 27 and to Starlines. And I had no idea I'd be interested in Starlines, but now here I am. So Lifelines actually helped push my journey in the direction that it needs to go. And I'm very excited to continue my studies at the Monroe Institute. And we'll see where it goes from there.